Tangible widgets are small plastic figures that can be used to control tablet games. We wanted to see if tangible widgets enhance the user experience when playing these games. Therefore, we made Hoverwalls, a game that can be controlled with finger touch or with widgets. In the touch version, the player has to touch the hover tank with one finger in order to move it around. To move and rotate, the player has to touch the hover tank with two or more fingers at the same time. In the widget version, the player simply has to move the widget across the screen, making the hover tank align itself to the position and orientation of the widget. In the touch version, the player has to tap and hold a GUI button located in the corner of the screen in order to shoot. The same goes for hovering. In the widget version, we have removed the GUI. The shoot button has been moved to the widget. And hovering is done by lifting the widget off the screen. Here are some actual gameplay, showing how the game is being played both with touch and with widgets. Two players battle against each other on the same screen. Each widget works by having five metal pads touching the screen. A capacitive touchscreen measures electrical capacitance in the user's fingers in order to create touch points. The widget leads capacitance from the user's finger through the widget and down to each of the metal pads. Each metal pad is a head of a nail that is being pressed down onto the screen by a spring. This is achieved by connecting each of the springs holding the nails with the exterior of the widget. This will lead the capacitance of the player to all the nails when holding the widget. We made an algorithm which can detect a widget based on the position of its touch points. First, the algorithm looks for the best right triangle, with two sides of equal length. This triangle communicates the widget's position and orientation to the device and defines a widget coordinate system for the remaining touch points. The position of the remaining touch points in this widget coordinate system is locked. These are what we call data points. If one of the data points matches the coordinates of a predefined flag, then the widget will be recognized. As you can see, each of the widgets has some of their touch points positioned differently. Three touch points indicate the coordinate system, one touch point indicates the shoot flag, and one touch point indicates the ID flag. In this way, we can differentiate the two widgets from each other and check if they are shooting. We did a test to investigate if people prefer to play a game with touch or with widgets. The test consisted of 32 people trying the game. A semi-structured interview and data logging was used to gather results. The results of the test showed the following. Widgets are more intuitive. Widgets afford better motion. Rotation is easier with widgets. And people tend to prefer widgets over touch.